Hello, wanders of the internet, and greetings. Welcome to my channel, Equestrian Tuna. In this video, I'm basically just playing around on one of our school horses named Pepper. It was an impromptu, no stirrup November session. So let's jump right into it. Basically, I'm just going to be analyzing what I'm doing, explaining some of the things that went on in the video, because we couldn't use any of the audio from the video. Um, and I apologize in advance if you can hear screaming and yelling from outside, because frat boys exist. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So it starts off pretty simple. Uh, I'm taking Pepper, and we I decided to do a leg yield zigzag with her. Uh, just because Pepper is very good at lateral work, and I am not. <laughs> I, I haven't ridden much over the past couple years, and as a result, I'm really stiff and my cues aren't that great. But look at how beautiful she goes. She's just like, okay, we got you, fam. Your cues aren't perfect? Fine. It's no big deal. We got you. Do do do, sideways. At the end, we got a little sloppy, just because I got a little sloppy. But she's amazing. So then, following through with the uh, lateral theme, I asked her for a little shoulder in. Uh, here she's giving me a nice three track and just turned into a four track shoulder in. Uh, but she was bending a bit much through her neck, uh, which made me think she was cheating. A bad rider moment. <laughs> So we did it again. Uh, I should have called it there, that shoulder in was beautiful, but... Uh, so we got a four track more immediately, and we're going, going, going. And that was where it kind of fell apart because I started asking for a way big angle, and now we're basically side passing, not shoulder inning. So that was holy rider error, and Pepper is a saint for tolerating me. So this one, I wanted a nice front view. Uh, part of what I'm analyzing is my position. Which I tend, I'm noticing that I, like, I tend to shift my weight more heavily to one side or the other. So I wanted the straight shot to kind of see if I was doing any of that. And I'm not. Uh, that was also my check to make sure the camera was recording. Uh, and then we did a shoulder in to the right. Similar deal happened. It started off really good and then I got overzealous and asked for way too big of an angle. So by the end it kind of ended up being more of a side pass and a shoulder in. Uh, here we're just kind of turning around. Uh, we're gonna pick up our trot. And again, my main focus in this was keeping my legs back, and uh, I didn't notice until I was watching this video that I actually tend to lean behind the vertical too much. So, next ride, I gotta focus on straightening that up. And that might help my legs stay back a bit more. So yeah, we're just playing around. I was trying to go the same direction as my boyfriend. Uh, so that I could kind of stay out of his way. And there I told him, if you change direction, I swear, like, I'm gonna kill you. And sure enough, he changed direction. And like, just, just, like, he has such a shit-eating grin on his face. Look at that. That evil gremlin. He changed directions on me. So, I said, fine. If you're gonna change direction on me, I'm just gonna join you and ride next to you so you can't change direction. Haha, -ha, trapped. And by the way, Pepper and Toby are used to working with each other. Uh, they're, they've done many pas de deux together and quadrilles together, so they're very chill uh, riding in close proximity to each other. Uh, so yeah, and I wasn't too focused. Technically, I ride dressage. I wasn't too, too focused on keeping Pepper in frame. Uh, again, my focus was mainly on me. You, can, you could see in that shot just there, my leg was a little bit too far forward, um, and like my toes are out badly. Although people tend to be like in general, when you're riding without stirrups, you tend to be prone to like t turning your toes out for whatever reason. Uh, so that's just one more thing I have to focus on. So we came around and we were like, okay, trot lateral work. Look at that gorgeous leg yield. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing I can critique there with Pepper is that she turned her head too much. Uh, but again, that's kind of more rider error than anything else. Uh, so then we did a little shoulder in. Keeping with the lateral theme. Look at her go. A little three track. There she goes. A little four track. And then as usual, I got overzealous. We got off the wall. Kind of turned a little ugly. <laughs> but that's okay. 
and my legs are still too far forward. Not by much though, they're worlds better if you saw my last video. They're worlds better than they were before. So this bit we just had another little pas de deux moment. Uh, Nick, my boyfriend and I wanted to talk, so we were just talking and riding and look at how pretty Pepper is. Uh, also I apologize for the, now that we're you know halfway through video, I apologize for how far away things are. We didn't have a person filming, we just kind of set up the camera and let it go. Uh, and that atrocity that you just watched was my attempt at a shoulder into the right. Um, again, holy rider error. So, on this wall, I believe we try it again. Yeah, we, we started to try it again, but we weren't feeling it. I did it wrong, so I just let Pepper go. I was like, nope. So this, again, I kind of wanted another back view, and also boyfriend was asking if he could canter, so I was like, yeah, sure. Of course you can canter. Uh, but you know, it's always polite when you're riding with another person to ask. And we were like, well, we're already here, so let's do a little, another little leg yield zigzag. Um, and it worked out pretty nice. She did quite nicely. I was pretty pleased. Uh, I shouldn't be surprised. It's Pepper. Pepper is perfect. Any time when Pepper does not look perfect is my fault. <laughs> so here we did a little serpentine, just because Pepper, Pepper's is older, so she's a little stiff. And I was like, well, let's do some bending because it's fun. That's good for you, good for me. And boyfriend went off and cantered. And then I went off and cantered. Wow, sorry guys. Didn't realize that transition was that abrupt, but I'm too lazy to go back and re-edit it, so <laughs> we're just gonna leave it. I'm not good at editing. In case you guys haven't noticed, I'm still very new at it, so I apologize for the choppiness of it. But look at Pepper go. Look at that gorgeous girl. Uh, the one thing Pepper does struggle with, and has always struggled with, is keeping her head down at the canter. So I was very pleased that she was reaching down as much as she was in that canter. The downward was a bit rocky though, I forgot to set her up fully, properly. Uh, so here we are. What's happening here again? Ah uh, yes. I think I was just giving Pepper a break, and giving myself a break, because my abs <laughs> hurt. Uh, I haven't ridden... Again, I'm not used- I'm not as used to sitting trots and movements for that off- for that long of a span of time. Just because I'm, you know, I'm out of shape. So here Pepper was kind of really not wanting to bend to the right for some reason. She kept trying to fall off the wall. Uh, I think it was just the stiffness mixed with the fact that she got a little bit excited because she had just cantered. So I said, okay, if you're not gonna move off the leg, we're gonna do a little leg yield. So that's what that was. Um, and it was quite useful. And then look at that, canter right. Da, 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 da. And again, the right, Pepper's worst direction is her right. Uh, so it's much harder to get her to reach down when you're cantering to the right. So look at that. So, yeah, I got her pretty straight, but if you'll notice, I am cocking my weight way far to the left because I was trying to get her to stay on the wall. I was trying to get her to like uh, get off that leg. So then we broke. I tried getting her to pick it up immediately. She didn't. We turned into a disaster. Uh, so I figured, okay, we'll settle out. We'll bring her back. Um, let her walk a moment. Let me get organized again, let her get organized again, and off we go again. In the meantime, a uh, boyfriend took the opportunity to do another little canter. Uh, get them go. Him and Toby get along so well. But yeah, so Pepper and I just took a little walk, uh, got ourselves situated again, watched boyfriend have fun cantering, and then it was our turn. So, trot, trot, trot. Beautiful. That cute little trot. She's gorgeous. And then we did beautiful little canter to part. And this time when I was riding the canter, I was thinking of putting her on a spiral out, which helped me not shift so much to the outside, but I was still shifted pretty badly to the outside. Uh, 
Again, I wasn't really focusing on her head at all. I was mainly focusing on just getting her to that wall uh, and getting her balanced. So then I started to set her up for our downward. You can notice rocking back, 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 and right as we did the downward, boyfriend got in the way. So you didn't get to see how beautiful that downward was, but it was it was gorgeous. And look at that frame. Look at how much more limber she is than when she started off in the beginning. Uh, and the other thing that anyone more, like any of you more astute horse people might notice, um, in the beginning she has a bit of a gimp, and she still does here. That's arthritis. She's had it since she was like seven. So you'll notice it will be worse in the beginning of the video, and it's kind of better now. Uh, and yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Boop! Oh yeah, and then there's a bonus. Have fun with that. <laughs>